Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Daisy. So today what I have is this gorgeous 22 inch lace front straight wig. It's Brazilian hair and I'm going to tell you all about it and show you how I styled it. I also am going to do a review on this new Escher glue. So I'll tell you all about it, the pros and the cons. So if you're interested, make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to show your girl some support and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Today's video is sponsored by Eva Hair Wigs. You can find them at evahairwigs.com. They gave me a weaving cap, which was cool. Too bad I used stocking caps. They gave me a nail filer, which I don't know why that goes with a wig, but I can definitely use that. Um, I gave a pamphlet on the hair care tips and some matte eyelashes. This is the unit fresh out of the packaging. I wanted to give you guys a close-up so you can see the wig in its original state. It's very shiny and it's very soft. I like it. it's 22 inches, so it is true to length. It's very long, which I really like. Because you know some of those units come and it's supposed to be 22 inches, but it looks like 18 inches. Not this wig, honey. So as you can see, I can run my fingers right through the wig. And here is the lace. It's like a, a nice brown color. And here's a close-up of the wig and the hairline. It is pre-plucked, but I did have to do some extra plucking. It has 16 by 3 parting space, so it is free part. You can style this wig however you would like. And it comes with two combs on the side, one in the middle, one in the back. And look at it, it's just super flowy. So I was really excited about trying on this wig. Now, since I planned on wearing this wig every day, I'm gonna bleach these knots. I just used some bleaching powder as well as some cream liquid activator. Um, if you have questions about exactly what I use, just comment in the description box below and I will tell you. So I'm just lightly applying this bleach to the front part of the lace. I usually just go up into the edges where the baby hair is. So I don't put lace, well, I don't put um, the bleach all the way to the end towards the lace as you can see I just place it exactly where um, the parting space would be now when I do finish um, applying the bleach all over the unit in the specific areas I do let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and that will make sure that the bleaches or the knots are completely bleached now let's get into the plucking of this unit and kind of just pull out the hairs and then get an idea of where the fullness is and you just pluck where it's full. That's what I do. And I leave a little bit of spacing. So you wanna make sure all the hair is towards the back so you don't cut any of the baby hairs out this piece ain't gonna stay back So now I'm just gonna take the Escher glue. It's this lace bonding glue. This is my first time trying it, so I am excited. We're gonna see if this bad boy works. And I'm just gonna put a few little dots right here. And this will be interesting, because I usually just use got to be glue. But this is supposed to give a longer hold and I'm really trying to lay this wig, you're gonna see. We got a photo shoot today, so I need an extra pop in. And I'm just gonna smooth this. See where I need to add more glue. Oh no, not on the wig.
I'm just gonna add a little bit more to these little spaces. Okay, so we got that laid in. Directions say shake well, make sure you remove all oil and add and makeup residue. We got that done. Apply a thin layer. Okay, it's kind of thin. <laughs> when the glue becomes tacky, approximately 30 seconds, apply lace wig on application area and press for a minute until firm in place. So it's basically the same process as the guts to be glued, but let's see if it has a better hold. So I got the glue in place. Just gonna lay this bad boy. Hope it does not, it can't show through this color. Like, this is looking a little crazy. And I think I got a little bit of. Place it a little bit too forward from where, I lay, where I'm laying the wig. So. Let's push this glue a little bit back. I just didn't want it to get on my stocking cap, but I don't want it too forward on my head, so we gotta improvise. Oh, it's definitely holding. I feel it trying to stick already. Okay. Ooh, this is definitely a stronghold. I feel it's all tight on my head. Try to wipe, use this alcohol. Wipe some of this off. Why is it still blue? Okay, it has to dry another color. Let me try to dry this. Take my blow dryer in cool setting. Okay, I was getting scared at first because I'm like, okay, this looks blue, but this is a super strong hold and it got my baby hairs like all tacky. So I'm gonna take some more alcohol and just try to wipe off the excess glue. So if you're doing this, I would put the glue further back. I usually put it closer to the front with the guts to be glued, but not with this way. It's coming off. Slowly but surely. So I'm gonna take some water, my conditioner, and place it in this brush to try to clean up this mess. What is going on? So it has a good hold, it's just, I think I applied too much. They did say a thin amount. Now, after doing this review, I had to cut off the camera because I'm like, there's no way I can keep this wig on my head. This is a close-up of the glue, and I actually washed this wig and put conditioner on it, so I've been rubbing the glue out, and this is how it still looks. Isn't that crazy? So what I wound up doing is just letting the conditioner sit for about eight hours while I went to work, and then I came home and most of the glue was off, but there is still glue on my wig. I'm so upset. I don't want to mess up my wig. First things first, this hair is from everhairwigs.com. I am in love with this gorgeous wig. It was straight, but I wanted to put a few curls in here just to give it a little bit more volume. It's 22 inches. It's a lace front wig. It has 13 by six parting space, so you can part it wherever you want. I wanted to show you how versatile it is, so I just did a little side part, and um, the baby hairs came pre-plucked, but I did a couple of, couple of hairs. You know, I had to pluck it a little bit more because it's never exactly how you want it. Sometimes you may get lucky, but it didn't take me much time at all. I plucked the hair for, I would say, about 15 minutes, and I just put a few baby hairs in the front and just gave me these gorgeous curls. I use my Conair curling iron, so 
it worked marvelously so this hair does not shed too much it's not tangly at all one thing i did notice is when i did wash the hair it was tangling but once i blow dried it and i also put some of my argon oil in my hair that gave it a little bit of luster and shine and it also straightened the hair so it worked out great I have two parts to this video. I first tried this Esha glue, as you guys seen before in the clip, and it was too tacky. I think I put a little bit too much glue on there, but I didn't like overpack it, but it just was really crusty. It crusted up. I couldn't lay my baby hairs. It was a no-no. So what I had to do was take the wig off, wash it, and just use my regular best to be glued in the black bottle. And I also used uh, the yellow bottle. I mixed it because this just was not working for me. It does give a great hold, but it flakes too much. Um, I do want to try this again. So I'm thinking of just putting a little bit less glue. So if you try this, just put way less glue than you normally would. Because you only need like a dot here, dot here, dot there. Um, but I don't know how it's going to hold, but you don't want it to flake up. It's, it's bad, bad. But one thing I do like is this wig remover. This is Echelon Lace Wig Bond Remover. Um, I sprayed it all over my unit and it came right off. I am going to be using this every day. This also works good with got to be glued because I tried it and it works amazing. So this is bomb. This is a, mm, I don't know. If you don't do baby hairs, I think this would, the Esha glue would be great for you. But if you do baby hairs, Good luck, sis. It's gonna take you some work because if you want like a little bit of flakes and you're okay with that, then it's perfect for you. But if you want your wig to be laid and look like your natural hairline, then don't use that at all. But overall, as a hair wig, thank you for sending me this wig. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's so soft. Shipping takes no time at all. It's like DHL shipping, I believe. So it's no more than four to five business days. You don't have to worry about that. Um, it's very long, like look at this, and I curled it. Super long, true to inches, doesn't really shed, tangles a little bit, but not when it's straight, because you can see I can run my hands right through it. So this is a bomb wig. I'm definitely wearing this today and probably the rest of the week. If I really like it, I'm just gonna wear it for the rest of the month. But so far, so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show your girl some support. You know I appreciate it. And give me a thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button below if you're not already subscribed.